so you can have uh, easy access uh, to your application. So this is how you would start, uh, and I'm going to walk through a very simple example, uh, basically like the Hello World, it's called Hello Pen, um, and I'm going to actually switch to Eclipse in a second so you can actually see what it takes, even if you're not an Android programmer, this is a very simple example. So uh, what's required in all your uh, Android applications is, is, of course, to add this to your manifest. You, you want to uh, tell it that you're using this feature, uh, the Android hardware touchscreen pen feature. And depending whether you want to support other devices or you're just targeting uh, these specific devices, you want to make sure that you set the flag true or false for required. Currently, uh, we only have gingerbread, uh, honeycomb is, is coming soon for our flyer. So we have a compatibility jar that helps you target both. Uh, it's, a, it's a migration utility jar so that you can uh, target both uh, only with the low level uh, end event APIs. And it, in the future update, we won't require you to actually add it to your Java class path. Next. So these are the four uh, demos currently available on the SDK if you download it from hccdev.com. Uh, one is illustrating how to use the pen menu. The other one illustrates how to do scrolling of the HTC pen view. Uh, and then uh, two examples of using uh, the low-level pen events. And uh, one using that compatibility uh, jar that I just mentioned. And that last one also allows you to actually run, uh, run it in the emulator, which we'll run to show you in a second as well. Next. Also, uh, in the upcoming update, we will include the Eclipse project so that it's easy to do an import and be able to import all the sample code at once. Next. So if you want to create a Android project from scratch. And if, this is again part of a workshop, but if, this is just the basic steps you need to uh, just simply create an Android project using Eclipse Wizard, and then just step by step, uh, we're going to go through these slides quickly of what you need to add to your manifest. I just mentioned that earlier. Next. Uh, so normally you would you would have a main XML layout already, so you just replace the text view with this HTC pinning view. And the next thing is you want to do is right in your on create, which got created by you, by the uh, Eclipse Wizard, you can simply just put these lines uh, after set content view. Uh, you want to retrieve the painting view that you added to your layout. And uh, which requires uh, creating a member uh, variable painting view. Next. Uh, you also want to add the appropriate imports. And then the next step is to add, uh, to call initialization <coughs> init method on the painting view. Uh, this is one of the requirements I mentioned earlier, which is that you have to have a data access object. Next slide. And this is one way of doing it, uh, is to extend the uh, abstract serialized DAL. Here I'm just doing this, uh, like an anonymous class here, uh, providing this minimal that you need just to have a hello pin application running. Normally this is where you fill in how you want to serialize and deserialize. Next. And the next part is providing the viewport. And the viewport requires uh, an array of groups. Uh, well, you have an array of viewports and an array of groups. And in the next slide, you'll see the next two slides. You'll see the, the remaining uh, implementation of viewport, which you, you need to uh, provide at least one. Next. And these are the various methods we, sh we mentioned earlier that allows you to define a viewport. Next. And those are the remaining methods. Next. And finally, you call uh, on painting view this method called request stroke groups. And this is where you pass uh, those two arrays, the group and the viewport. And that's the end of onCreate. And then you'll see that you have a completed app. Uh, this would be on create 
And this is, again, the very simplest. Uh, we can actually switch to Eclipse here to show you uh, the complete code right here. So again, you just made a minor change to your main XML layout. You add the, the, the minimal required uh, methods and a painting view, and you have a pen application. So uh, the next demo that we'll show uh, is a is the next step is the pen menu. So in addition to a HTC uh, painting view, uh, you can add functionality to uh, use the pen menu. So let's just go back to the uh, And we're, we're going to skip this to a little later. These are some extra demos that we have. Um, actually, yeah, this is the, the end of it. We had additional slides uh, after the <coughs> Okay, so we're going to switch to actual hands-on uh, demonstration uh, with these with the remaining demos. So, as I mentioned, uh, there's four demos that come with the SDK. Uh, we'll probably add this Hello Pen one, even though it's very, very minimal. So let's just go to the Pen Menu demo. Uh, we'll walk quickly through uh, the main, uh, main activity. I think what we'll do at the end is we'll, we'll, we'll pass around our tablets so you can see these demos if you haven't seen them already. It's hard, hard to demonstrate from here. So what this application allows you to do is to, sh to uh, basically, uh, it allows you to draw on the painting view, but in addition to that, there's certain, a few controls that allows us to select what actions uh, you want to display uh, or enable on your pen menu. It also allows, it has a button to actually hide and show the pen menu. And here's where we're actually uh, defining this a little bit more in detail. Um, so this is similar to, to a minimal example. Uh, we have a, a viewport, uh, we have a DAO, and as, we, as we've seen before, this is, that, that's required Here's the additional uh, aspects to this demo is we're, we're going to have the ability to select whether we want to see uh, a full set of pens or a minimal set of pens. Um, so this is basic, basic Android you know, uh, screener controls. Um, and the second screener control allows you to select which actions you want to enable or disable in the pen menu, such as undo, clear, redo, uh, and so forth. And then we have a button that toggles uh, the pen menu, whether it's visible or not, uh, using the method called change state. And that's that's basically it. Uh, here's some methods, some basic methods for saving the instant state, such as which action he shows, which pen set he shows. And then here's the required viewport you have to provide. And handling touch events. Uh, so here um, we're handling. A, we're de we can we can determine if it's a motion event from touch or whether it's from pen using the pen event is pen event static method. And this is how you can also determine uh, what the button states are. So in this particular case, we're defining one button for setting the erase mode on the pen menu. And the other button, uh, just scroll down, uh, is to hide the stroke. And again, you can define those to be uh, to do any type of actions you want on the pen menu uh, or otherwise. And that's it for this example. The very next example, uh, we're going to build on, on both uh, of these that we've seen. And it's a scrolling. Pen scrolling, pen scroll painting example. And we're going to have 
maybe Lance step through this if you don't mind. Uh, okay, so this is the pen scroll painting demo. Uh, what this demo shows you when you run it on one of our tablets is you'll have several pages that you can then scroll through with uh, your finger. And on each page, you'll be able to write with the pen uh, text. So what we're just trying to show is that, unlike uh, the previous demo, you can do more than just draw on like a one single screen color. You can scroll around the screens as well. Uh, so Dario has it here on the tablet. And you can see we've colored the different pages inside this app, uh, different colors. So you can scroll around and write on the different pages inside this app. So we can take a look at the layout first, which will similarly uh, show the separate pages. demo, we change strokes using the menu button in the top right. Um, so this is uh, implemented inside the demo, and then you pick things like the color and the width and uh, uh, other options, and then you pro programmatically in the, in the demo code it's called. Um, if you use the pen menu uh, from the previous example, that will show in the bottom corner of the app. Um, a round menu with different pens sticking out and like a color selection control and a thickness control. So you have uh, various different options for adjusting what's drawn. So those, uh, those pen types are in the uh, pen menu are the uh, building types in the uh, open senses. Uh, yes, there, there are thin pens built in, but also thicker pens. And uh, the thicker pens work by, uh, they have like an, an image that they use, and you can implement your own with a particular image. And that will make it look like a brush stroke instead of like just a thin little line. So, developer use the open provide various pen types that you can use yourself, but you are always free to um, just receive all the pen events, and then you can do your, your entire own implementation for drawing, and you can draw it however you like, or you can use our pre-built ones, or you can implement your own pen, and our drawing code will then draw using your pen if uh, you set it to. So there are various levels of customization where you can uh, take control over what's done. directly support stamp for you with our code, but you can implement that yourself. So you'll see as the, uh, the pen events come in to your app, you can find the location of uh, the, the event, and then you can do your own drawing to show an image in that location. 
And you can actually show a view on top of our view, for instance, and then you can show the stamps that way. Um, for the, uh, the separate pages in the scroll painting demo, you can uh, look at this main XML inside that demo. And uh, you can see that we have uh, separate, separate layouts here. Um, for the events that I was just talking about, I can also show you that. So right now you can get the, the coordinates of uh, where the, the motion events for the pen come in on the screen. And then you could uh, show your image there if you need to. So we can do all on the floor? Yes. I just want to emphasize all the different use case scenarios. So again, starting with the first example that I showed was the hello pen, the whole hello world. This is a very simple using the painting engines. Uh, HTC scroll view, uh, HTC painting view. Uh, and the second demo, which was the pen menu, which I didn't show you before, uh, you can draw, but you can also use the pen uh, menu. Uh, again, all this is provided to you for you by the pen framework. Uh, in, the, in the third example, where we had the scrolling views, uh, it didn't have the pen menu. In fact, it, it used uh, your own custom controls to do the same functionality as the pen menu. So you can provide your own pen menu, so to speak. Use our painting engine to do the painting. Or you can use the, our pen menu and provide your own painting by implementing our interfaces, like I showed you earlier. And then the last scenario, which is the next example, is like, like when I started showing you, is the pen event demo, where you control all, all everything except the actual raw events, motion events that are coming in. And you can use our framework to determine if it's a pen event, and in this particular example, you can handle both touching and pen events differently. In fact, uh, hold on a uh, I'm going to demo. Actually, we can actually demo this in the emulator too, because using our last example, the pen event demo compatibility example, we can uh, show you uh, using the same draw your own custom drawing code uh, can work. Toggle to the uh, to the actual uh, emulator which is running over here. It doesn't really fit there, but so when you, when you touch, that's like a, like your finger is touching, and then for the emulator, it, uh, if you press a key like P for pen, and you get uh, as if you were using the pen. On the same at the same time. Oh. And I'll show you here in a second uh, what it looks like down here. So here I'm using my finger uh, and the pen, the width is a certain width. If I use the pen, it's another width. So you can control mixing the mode if you want to. And again, here the drawing is all your own custom drawing. Just some sample code to do your own custom drawing code. You may have existing drawing code from other applications, and all you're interested in is, is in getting the events for pen. So this example shows you how to do that. It also shows you how to do it using our compatibility jar file, which allows you to run it in the emulator, or use it as a fallback me mechanism for running it on other devices, even as long. So what you saw in the, the emulator demo is that the, the stroke was very thick, and our example is written to draw a thick stroke when it's seeing what would be the, a person touching the screen. Uh, and then you saw a thinner line being made, and that's what the demo is written to show when the pen is being 